Hey everyone, let's do in level 99 no modifiers on the Aldi boss, I don't know what the name, but yeah, there's the team, there's a super expensive, um, it's RNG heavy as well, uh, so I'll show the gear once we are done. I ju just did this with uh, this very team comp, so let's check it out. So the boss preemptively strikes, brings us to <clears throat> very low HP, 1% in fact. And what I'm trying after this is getting rid of Chao because having two armly covered tanks is just <laughs> there's no purpose, honestly. But for the time being, Chao uses focused inspiration for the 80% magic it, uh, damage reduction, which is super important because of chromatic wave. Um, if the boss does two or more, well, three or more uh, chromatic waves, this run is over because Sky dies. But the goal here is to use um, Energizing Bunny, Storm Guardian, it's 75% and I'm hoping to find a way that this is enough, but so far I haven't. Um, but this is the goal. So Storm Guardian, Electromagnetic Shield, um, Kresnik is just going to get the party back on its feet with Triple Medical, uh, Medicinal Potion, Roberta. Um, we also need that typed mitigation for Dragon and Aquatic from Roberta, or else this whole run falls apart. And uh, she'll do Inferno Breath. Now I could go for Roberta's 10k um, uh, barrier, but I'm just hoping that we don't get more than two Chromatic Waves. In that case, I won, the fight is over, and it's guaranteed clear. Uh, uh, What's the name? Lara is going to explosive and hotshot. Sky needs to shift and limit. I think it's safe to limit on turn one. Um, not 100% sure, but it would appear so. At least I haven't been super punished for limit bursting on turn one so far. So let's see. Um, Finbash, fine, fine. That's bad. It's bad. Please no more, please no more. Okay, we're fine. So that was exactly two, and as you've seen, Sky would not have survived the third one. Um, yeah, so Esther shifts back. We're preparing for the kill. So Quantum Storm on Chao, Calm Before the Storm and Bolting Slice. Roberta is going to um, Ignashi, Ignitos Domain, 10k Barrier. Um, she'll do Mega Breath. And um, I guess support from the skies is fine. Yeah. I think I just did that as well. Anyway, um, let's see the HP. Yeah, we're gonna need Kresnik to do medicinal twice. Actually, do we? Yeah, I should. And we'll do medicinal antioxidant. This should get back everyone on their feet. Lara is just going to hotshot the boss. Sky goes back to base where she will tie with the spirit. Chao is just going to Guardian's Blessing, Loyal Hearts, and uh, True Guardian, just for morale spam, honestly. And we do Esther's stuff. Okay, so yet again, um, we are a little bit more safe on this turn, but still five or more chromatic waves can ruin all of this. Well, there was one. Here's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Please, no more. Thank you. Okay. So Chao is going to light chain lightning. Esther is going to limit. Sky is going to brave shift and limit. Roberta is going to quad uh, mystic breath which is super, super awesome because it perfectly chains with Bolting Strike and um, Extreme Nova. So props to the devs. That was an amazing, or that is an amazing chain uh, family. 
and Lara shifts for volatile ammunition. So we'll start, we are starting off with Roberta, sent in Kresnik and Lara, sent in Chow and Esther, and then Sky. So, um, uh, it's WE for me, yeah. So let's send in Roberta first, we'll wait until the chain builds, send these two in, send these two in. Okay, I messed that up heavily. But it still worked out, even though I messed up on a grand scale, because I messed up the chain with Chow and Esther. Still worked. Done. Level 99 clear. Finished. Let's check out the damage, although it's not... Um, yeah, Esther would have been a lot higher up there, but she missed the, the chain entirely. So yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. We are done with level 99, but now the uh, challenge comes with uh, all modifiers. I I don't think that Chromatic Wave is supposed to be hitting this hard, because if you give the boss 80% more attack and magic, there's just no way. I, I mathed this out earlier today, or earlier, like, 20 minutes ago before doing this video and technically speaking if this is really meant to be a 10x modifier on chromatic wave we would need a 90% magic break we would need 75 magical mitigation and we would need 50% general mitigation to just barely survive one and this attack has 30% chance of happening I, I, on my previous run before I recorded this, I had zero chromatic waves throughout the whole three turns. But if this were to happen on this very run you just saw, this would have been over. So I don't know how this is supposed to go. I'm just hoping that the devs made some mistake and chromatic wave is far more than 10x or it's meant to be, I don't know, 5x, 6x. I hope they this isn't what they really meant to be doing. I mean, I can live with that. There are ways to mitigate that damage, but it, I don't know if you will, will be able to cap this fight. So we'll see about this, but let me show you the gearing for the time being. But I have a strong feeling that 10x on Chromatic Wave is just not intended. Anyway, Chao is built. I pressed Optimize, by the way, on Chao, so this isn't optimized. This is what the game thinks is optimized for SPR, but this is it. Don't take this too seriously. Um, this is not meant to be a good build. I literally pressed optimize for that. <laughs> so don't take this too serious. Um, same ish thing kind of on Kresnik, although I personally built him with all of that in mind. So max spirit just to survive chromatic wave. Um, oh yeah, super important about Kresnik. He is on Scarlet Wave which is um, Leftia's TMR. Um, then Lara, lots of SPR, 1.3k in base. I can go further on this, definitely. Um, and that's going to be probably fine, but there is so much I can do. I can go for a spirit weapon in the one-handed department with, um, for example, this boar. I could give her a second boar, which would be fine too. But that's almost exhausting all possibilities. So will she survive more than two? Probably no, even at full mods. So there isn't much to be done here. Uh, also super important that she's on Obsidian Bracer uh, for the 80% breaks right out of the way. Otherwise we have no other breaker. Uh, other than attack and defense break, so we kind of needed that. And that's the other issue. I can definitely bring Cacteria to this fight with 89% breaks to magic for Chromatic Wave, but is this a good idea to cap this fight at full mods? I don't know. I don't think so. And then the Brave Shift is geared for DPS. Um, I'm using a shotgun, which isn't ideal. Um, I have to see whether I want to give her a great sword because of Esther or whether I want to give her a spear because of Roberta. Not sure yet. Uh, I'll mark this out when the time comes. 
Other than that, some aquatic killer. And she is at 150 dragon and 225 aquatic. Using her own vision card. Uh, Esther, full DPS gear in base form. She is just that super efficient, although she has low spirit, but she doesn't really care about all of this, luckily, because she's very strong otherwise. These are the abilities. And she's using her own vision card for no apparent reason, honestly. Um, and she is at 275 dragon and was aquatic, 125 aquatic. So not the best, but I don't think the devs designed this fight for us to 300, 300 both anyway, considering the amount of damage this boss deals. And in Brave Shift, she is geared for resistances, a little bit of ice, a little bit of lightning, although lightning is not needed because she absorbs lightning, but yeah. This is mainly from last month's fight, as you can recall. And lastly, oh no, not lastly, we've got Roberta. Mine is at EX plus 3, as you've seen, so I went in, threw away all my tickets, did the Fortuna summon, did the um, treasure summon, I got the last copy I needed. Did cost me all my tickets, though and um, spend some money but that's okay because this is cheaper than a uh, dark rain technically speaking so it's good i don't mind this or is it actually cheaper 50 plus no it's not cheaper i paid the same thing <laughs> so for scrap that it's just ex as expensive as dark rain was uh anyway these are the abilities she's naturally good against all of this now i have to use King of Destruction Soma STMR for Magic Cap. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's thick. 7.9k magic. Good stuff, good stuff. Brave Shift, not gear. I'm not using it yet, at least. But yeah, these are the abilities. Dark Rain's Vision card. And yeah, 300 Dragon, 300 Aquatic. Looking good. And. Uh, Lastly, Sky. Uh, Sky based from lots of SPR and defense. That's why she survived those five or so chromatic waves. Again, I can take this further with more SPR on a few slots, uh, but there isn't much to do because she also needs kind of Tyvus' spirit. So yeah, and she's using that card. I haven't gotten the, um, the uh, new vision card yet. I probably would use this one, but yeah. Uh, Brave Shift, using this gear, no change from my previous run. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Hope this. Oh, by the way, if you're asking for substitutes, as of right now, no chance, Lance, I don't know. I feel like this is the, for the time being, the only comp that survives this stuff. Maybe there's something else I'm not seeing, but yeah, it's hard. Anyway, thank you all for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.